guys! This week, our art project is going to be inspired by graffiti. You're going to design your first name in a graffiti style font, which you'll find online. If you watch this video, I'll show you exactly how to do it. First, you want to open up Google and then type in graffiti alphabet. Go to images. This is going to bring up a whole bunch of different styles of graffiti. You can just scroll through until you find the one that you like the best. I really like how this one looks, so this is what I'm going to work off of. Like I said, you want to use your first name, and you're going to need a piece of paper, a pencil, and a Sharpie or a black marker, or any color marker, really. I'm going to start off by very lightly writing my name in a similar kind of style to the picture that I'm looking at. This just kind of helps me map it out on the paper so that I know I fill it up nicely. I don't want to make it super tiny. I don't want to make it so big that it goes off one edge. Now that I have it mapped out, I'm going to go in and I'm not going to write my name. I am going to draw it. So I'm using my usual sketch style to get the basic shape of the letters. And I'm looking off of the picture that I found online to help me. You don't have to follow it exactly. You can kind of modify what you're looking at, make it your own style, just use that as a starting off point, or you can try and copy it the best you can. It's up to you. The letters are more just to help you figure out what you want to do. I'm going to vary where they set so they're not perfectly even. Let them overlap a little bit. I'm going to speed this up. The E in this only has a lowercase e, so I'm going with that for both of them. I could have made a capital E for the first letter if I wanted to. Again, your style. You do it how you want it. Now that I've got the letters blocked out, I'm going to put a little cloud shape around it just to kind of create a contour. You want to add any other decorations, little stars, hearts, anything around here. That's totally up to you. And I'm going to trace over the letters with my Sharpie, or like I said, if you don't have a Sharpie, you can use a black marker or any other color you want. Any marker will work. I'm just gonna go through and trace over these lines to make them nice and clean. Bold, turning the paper helps me get all of the angles neatly. And we'll speed this up again. I'm also going to trace over my little cloud shape. I'm 
And then the last thing I'm going to do is come in and give the letters that little bit of a 3D effect. And I'm just copying this straight off of the picture as well. But just to make it pop off of the paper a little bit more. So you'll notice these lines don't go around the whole thing. You just thicken them up in a few places. And for this picture, it's on the bottom and the right side of the letters. So there's the E, and I'll speed it up while I do the rest. Again, just the bottom and the right. If you want to do this in pencil first in case you're worried about messing up and then coloring it in with marker, that's fine. Whatever makes it easier for you. It also, of course, depends on the graffiti style font that you pick for your inspiration. And the last thing I'm going to do is get my eraser and get rid of any stray pencil lines just to clean it up. And there is my first name in a graffiti style font.